Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a hyperlan, guys. So hyperlan is nothing but the high performance radio lan. So it is an advanced or high performance it is having. Okay. So it is a variant of IEEE 802.11 standard. Okay. So it was developed by ETSI brand for using European region. So it is used mostly in European region. So it has a two different versions you can say. So hyper variant hyperlan one by one hyperlan two. Okay, so hyperline 1 and 2, let us see some introduction. After that, we will be going through their architecture diagrams. Okay, yes. so there are, these are not too complex, guys. These are really easy, but in examination, you need to elaborate them, guys. So basically, I also don't know how to elaborate them, but you need to do somehow. Okay, yes. So hyperline 1. So it operates at 5 gigahertz. It supports a data rate up to 20 Mbps. It uses a single carrier modulation such as a GMSK. Okay, so it uses a complex equilaterals. To reduce the speeds okay to to take care of the delays of the speeds okay so basically it uses these are the some properties you can say similarly for hyperlan hyperlan also operates at 5 gigahertz but it's a speed up to 50 mbps guys it supports a multi-carrier ofdm so i think everyone knows about ofdm right yes okay so it uses it so it it uses two bands one for indoor and the other for outdoor so basically here we will be having two different bands okay so the hyperlan type 1 architecture so it is only having three layers guys it uses only these three layers the first layer is nothing but the mac layer that is nothing but medium access sub layer or medium access control okay the second layer is a cac that is nothing but channel access control okay the last layer is phy that is nothing but physical layer okay so these are the three layers the above three layers are indicates the hyperlan one architecture so now let us go through some theoretical explanation about these layers like what are these layers doing basically okay so if you recall these layers look uh, like like uh, osi model right yes so these are having some properties of the osi model layers also so the first layer is nothing but the physical layer so physical layer has a three functionalities the first functionality is it encodes the signal it can decode the signal it adding preamble for the signal for synchronization to base for preamble is nothing but it will add some extra bits so that it will maintain the synchronization guys okay and bit transmission and receiving so all these properties will be taken care by the physical layer okay so you can write small small examples also because all these concepts you are having a clear idea right so encoding decoding means instead of sending in the normal human language it will be encoding into some other type of language it might be binary it might be anything and again it will whenever the receiver receives this he'll be using decoding and he'll be decoding it in that way adding preamble means some synchronization bits will be added and based on that you'll be getting and similarly it is used for sending and receiving the data simple yes cac is nothing but channel access control the sub layer deals with the access request to the channel okay accomplishing of the request is dependent on the usage of channels the priority requests so basically based on the requirements the channel access control will be managed guys so it might be in a fixed manner it might be in a dynamic manner it might be depending on anything okay similarly medium access control so basically here it is just like internet right so here also you will be sending your packets and all those things so basically here also there is a chance that some errors could occur some data might be lost so all these errors and error control and collision control will be taken by our medium access control okay it is the one which assembles the data and disassembles the data and it even checks for errors and all those things okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea right guys i also did not find any kind of proper information about these particular topics even on youtube i found very rare videos so from that only i have written these topics guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this so in the next lecture we will be moving on to the hyperline 2 protocol stack architecture guys remember that in some exam in, our, in some examinations they are asking directly protocol stack instead of using the word architecture they are using protocol stack so please draw the diagram of architecture only both are same guys indirectly okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the hyperland 2 architecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching